again welcome to the statistics is ungrouped data so again we are going to teach us how to calculate the mean median and mode of grouped data so we start our first problem the table below shows the weights in kilograms of members in a sport club calculate the mean median and mode of the distribution so to calculate the mean we have uh, our usual formula summation of fx over summation of f here we need to uh, reorganize this table in a vertical form this table is given in a horizontal form we have it in a vertical form so we have the table create another table this is the class interval representing the masses and uh, we are going to have uh, 40 to 49 50 to 59 as it is given in the original table now we have a uh, uh, frequency to be 6 4 12 14 7 and uh, 3 now from this formula there's no room for x in this table so we are going to generate another column for x and that x represents the mid value of the class intervals so we have a uh, x which is the mid value of the class interval that's going to give us how do we get the mid value is to find the average of the upper limits and the lower limit of each class interval so we have 40 plus 49 giving us 89 89 divided by 2 gives 44.5 and 50 plus 59 divided by 2 gives 54.5 60 plus 69 divided by 2 gives 64.5 70 plus 79 divided by 2 gives 74.5 80 plus 89 divided by 2 gives 84.5 and finally 90 plus 99 divided by 2 gives 94.5 so we now have the column for x so we can now find our fx that's fx means frequency times x so and we said the x represented the mid value of the class interval so now we have uh, the column fx fx 6 times 44.5 we have a uh, 267 8 times 54.5 gives 436 64.5 times 12 gives 774 74.5 times 14 gives 1043 7 times 84.5 gives 591.5 and finally 3 times 94.5 gives 283.5 so we can now go ahead to add the frequencies if you sum up the frequencies we have a uh, 50 so we have 50 there if you sum up the frequencies we have 50 very simple 14 and uh, 6 14 and 6 gives 20 8 and 12 gives 20 7 and 3 gives 10 so 20 20 10 will give you 50 we now add up the column for FX that one shall be from our calculator giving us 3395 so we now substitute into the formula 3395 divide by 50 so dividing it by 50 we have a uh, from our calculator we have 67.9 as the mean of this distribution from the grouped data so we go for the median so for the median the formula for group data is given so this l m means the lower class boundary of the median class this is the summation of the frequencies divide by two this is cumulative frequency of the class before the median class 
the cumulative frequencies of all the class before the median class and uh, this is the frequency of the median class here the data is arranged in ascending order so we are going to take every parameter in this formula serve them out and uh, that is the lower class boundary of the median class first we have to identify the median class since there are 50 members in the club so the 25th and 26th members will be in the middle since the data has been arranged in ascending order so we add and see where 25 and 26 will be accommodated within the frequency so we have 6 plus 8 gives 14 14 plus 14 plus 12 gives 26 so the 25th and the 26th members are here in this frequency 12 so our median class is going to be 60 to what 69 that's going to give us the median class so to get the lower class boundary of the median class we look at the lower limits here and the upper limit of the class before it then we find the we find the midpoint we find the midpoint that's 59 and 60 the midpoint is 59 plus 60 divided by 2 and that will give you 59.5 so the 59.5 is the lower class boundary of the median class 59.5 is the lower class boundary of the median class then the summation of the frequency we have already gotten that one in the while we are calculating the mean so that's giving us 50 divided by 2 which gives 25 so summation of f divided by 2 is 25 then we now go for cumulative frequency of the class before the median class so how do we get the cumulative frequency so that's 6 plus 8 6 plus 8 gives 14 that gives the cumulative frequency of the class before the median class so this is the class before the median class its cumulative frequency is to add the frequencies all the frequencies before the median class which is 6 plus 8 giving us 14 that's 14 then we now have the frequency of the median class the frequency of the median class is 12 so we have 12 and the class size to get the class size c means the class size or the class width the class size or the class width to get the class size we find the difference between the upper class boundary and the lower class boundary of the median class so to get the upper class boundary we look at the upper limit and the lower limit of the class after the median class so the mid point there again is 69.5 then minus the lower class boundary we've gotten the lower class boundary of the median class to be 59.5 minus 59.5 we have it as 10 we now substitute all these parameters in the formula so we now have 59.5 plus 5 25 minus 14 divided by 12 then times 10 so we have substituted these parameters in the formula so we have 59.5 25 minus 14 gives 11 so 11 times 10 gives 110 divided by 12 so from our calculator we have uh, the final answer to be 68.67 which represents the median width of the members in the sport club so now we go to the mode so the formula for the mode we have lm delta 1 over delta 1 plus delta 2 multiplied by c 
so we multiply by c we need to also get the modal class here to get the modal class we go to the class with the highest frequency this is the class with the highest frequency here since this class has the highest frequency that is the modal class here so the modal class we look for lm lm is the lower class boundary of the modal class to get that again we consider the lower limit of the modal class and the upper limit of the class before it since it is arranged in ascending order it's before it so we have a 69 plus 70 divided by 2 gives 69.5 then we have delta delta 1 is the difference between the frequency of the modal class and the class before it that's going to give us 14 minus 12 which gives 2 and delta 2 is the difference between the frequency of the modal class and the class after it so that's going to give us 14 minus 7 which gives 7 and again our class size so is the lower class boundary and the upper class boundary we are going to find the positive difference so the upper class boundary here is uh, 79.5 minus 69.5 which gives 10 and we now substitute this into the formula for mode so lm is 69.5 into 2 over 2 plus 7 then multiply by 10 so here we have a 69.5 plus 20 over 2 plus 7 gives 9 20 over 9 from our calculator we have it as 71.72 as the modal class of this uh, distribution that brings the end of the solution to this problem on how to solve mean median and mode of grouped data please remember to subscribe to our channel at oninab resources and uh, thank you for watching this video bye